Much of what you believe you understand about African history is quite simply inaccurate. Until fairly recently, Africa's history was heavily influenced by the stories that emerged during the colonial period in the 19th century. These stories were often biased and portrayed Africa as a primitive continent that only advanced through the supposed kindness of colonial rulers. Historians from the 19th century manipulated history to justify the immense human toll of the imperial era, effectively distorting the truth. However, modern historians and archaeologists who specialize in African studies are now revealing astonishing truths that challenge the idea of Africa as a stagnant and uncivilized region. So stay tuned as your nearby historian uncovers narratives about the wealthiest individual in history, the origins of art and mathematics, and a glimpse into the captivating wonders of ancient times. Africa is where our journey as humans began. A long time ago, our ancestors diverged from the big apes like gorillas, orangutans, chimpanzees, and bonobos. Our ancestors, Homo sapiens, later spread out to different parts of the world. But no matter where we went, Africa is the place where our human history started. You might be familiar with some of these facts already, but here are some intriguing details about Africa that you might not be aware of. Carthage, a powerful kingdom, rivaled Rome and Greece for many years. Did you know that Carthage was an African kingdom? It was founded by the Phoenicians in the 8th century BC and is now a suburb of Tunis, the capital of Tunisia. Historical records tell us that Carthage became the wealthiest city in the world. The famous Carthaginian general Hannibal even took elephants across the Alps and occupied Italy for 15 years. The beginnings of counting and writing started in Africa during the Upper Paleolithic era. The earliest evidence for people using numbers comes from the Labombo bone. Found in the Labombo mountain range, this baboon fibula is marked by 29 notches along its length, which most archaeologists think were used for counting. The ancient Egyptians began writing around 3100 BC, a few hundred years after the ancient Sumerian civilization in the Middle East. In ancient Egypt's prime, its bustling capital was Thebes, located 400 miles south of modern Cairo, near Luxor. Thebes was established around 4000 BC. Known for its connection to royalty, Thebes flourished into a sprawling metropolis during the 11th dynasty, around 2000 BC. Its proximity to the Nile and the Red Sea made it a hub for trade. Around 1500 BC, Thebes had a population of 75,000, making it the largest city in the world. It held this title for the next 600 years. Africa's rich natural resources have attracted attention throughout history. Think of the Witwatersrand Basin in South Africa. It holds the world's largest gold deposit, and the gold rush it triggered in 1886 led to the founding of Johannesburg. Surprisingly, almost half of all the gold ever mined in the world's history comes from Witwatersrand, discovered just 132 years ago. Amid the Sahara Desert, Timbuktu stood out as a center of learning and scholarship. Its libraries safeguarded thousands of manuscripts, showcasing Africa's intellectual legacy. Between the 1400s and around 1593, Timbuktu in Mali was the place to get a top-notch education. With origins dating back to about 1100 BC, Timbuktu's educational tradition was tied to the Mali Empire's expansion. In 1450, around 25,000 scholars lived in Timbuktu, making up about a quarter of the city's population. 
Morocco's conquest of the city in 1591 marked the end of its educational prominence. However, around 70,000 manuscripts from Timbuktu's golden era remain. Africa's legacy of innovation and learning is evident in the University of al Qarawiyin in Fez, Morocco. Founded in 859 AD by Tunisian woman Fatima al-Firi, it's the oldest, continually run university in the world. Fatima's inheritance was used to build a massive mosque with an associated school, Madrasa. The mosque, accommodating 22,000 worshippers, remains Africa's largest. The university's endurance over centuries owes much to the generosity of numerous benefactors. Malian Emperor Mansa Musa is often regarded as one of history's richest people. His pilgrimage to Mecca in the 14th century, accompanied by a caravan of gold and riches, left people astonished across Africa and the Arab world. The prosperous Mali Empire owed its wealth to gold deposits, abundant salt, once more valuable than gold in Africa, and substantial trade taxation. At its peak, Emperor Mansa Musa ruled Mali as the wealthiest person in history. In 1324, on his famed pilgrimage to Mecca, he traveled with a caravan of 60,000 men, including 12,000 personal slaves, all dressed in opulent attire. His baggage train consisted of 80 camels, each carrying 300 pounds of gold, which he generously distributed among the poor along the way. When thinking of ancient art, you might picture European cave paintings. However, the oldest art ever found comes from South Africa's Blombos Cave. There, archaeologists discovered a piece of ochre with a complex pattern of crossed lines, dating back at least 77,000 years. The kings of pyramid building were the Kush Empire, who outdid even the Egyptians. Emerging after the fall of Egypt's 24th dynasty around 1000 BC, the Kushites ruled much of Egypt until the Neo-Assyrian Empire's rise. They shifted their capital to Meroe, modern Sudan, where they constructed hundreds of pyramids, of which 350 have been discovered. While smaller than their Egyptian counterparts, these Nubian pyramids are a testament to a powerful empire's opulence. Africa's history boasts incredible architectural feats, with the Egyptian pyramids taking the spotlight. Built over an astonishing 2,700 years, the ancient Egyptians erected nearly 140 pyramids. The oldest known, the Pyramid of Djoser, dates back to the 27th century BC. The Great Pyramid of Giza, built for Pharaoh Khufu, took around two decades to complete. Standing at 481 feet, it remained the world's tallest structure until the completion of England's Lincoln Cathedral in 1311. One of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the Great Pyramid of Giza, is the only one to survive, showcasing the architectural brilliance of ancient African civilization. Feel free to explore our dedicated video about the Giza Pyramid by checking the description below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Your nearby historian is dedicated to bringing you more captivating historical facts from around the world. Your support keeps us motivated.